Hi everybody. Today we are going to see how to join a data between different data sets using Clover ETL. So we have two files here. One is the employee input which has seven fields separated by a comma. And we have another input which says US states which, which also contains data but it is separated by a semicolon. Now what we want is from this whole file we want ID, name and state which is given in the full name and here we want to fetch the abbreviation of the state from the states file so let's see how we can do from a global idea first of all we have to read those two files using a universal data reader component so drag universal data reader component two times one for states file and one for the employee file i have already created a metadata for employee input and record states input I'll, I'll use those metadata in these two components. So go to component properties of universal data input, file URL, and browse to the path of the file. Similarly, browse the path of the second file in the file URL property for states file. Okay, now we have to join these two data sets using the x hash join component drag the component to designer join the component use first universal data data component to join and similarly from the port to the second port of ext hash join right click the line or edge select and select the metadata Similarly, here select the states metadata. Okay, now we want to output the records. Let's click the trash component. We're doing the trash component because we just want to show how the records are getting transformed. Select the edge, right click, and select new metadata. And that to user defined because we don't have any output file from which we can extract the metadata. Here we say join output that's the name of the metadata and here we can say employee underscore id employee underscore name employee id will define the integer state and last is the post value which we are going to fetch from the second file click finish and you can see a metadata is created here now the last and the next step is to configure the join component let me take this component properties into field of view so here the first thing is we have to define the key on which these two files will be going to join so the data is going to be joined on the full state name so let's drag the state from the slave field or, or the state file into a key mapping so you can see the mapping has been defined now click ok here in join type we can define which type of join you want to do so right now we are going to do elaborate to join because we want to output all the records whether there is a match found in the second file or not and then finally we are going to point the transformation using a transform editor ok so from here we are going to map id with employee id first name and last name first name and last name to employee name state to state and then we take the postal from second file and map it to the postal field in the output press ok you can add a debugger by right clicking the, the flow and then run the job now there is 100 records in the first file and 51 records in the second file which is the states file and you can see the 100 calls going out because we have to choose the left photo join and see view data now when you can see the postal code from the second file is getting fetched properly for kentucky we are getting ky michigan we are getting mi for california we are not getting any postal codes right. and we don't have California that's why we are not getting any value so this completes this video let me know if you have any concerns or comments
थैंक यू